Hello everyone, this is Bahadur. Today's lesson is going to be very interesting. I have also, I have a guest here is uh, the other Bahadur. All right. Today's lesson is going to be about uh, the difference between the American and the British vocabulary. So we're going to talk about uh, things related to food. We're going to talk about things related to food. So let's start. I'm going to be saying the American words here and uh, the other Bahadur is going to say the British words. Okay, so let's start. First, we have the word bacon. Bacon is an American word, since for like uh, turkey bacon or regular bacon. And what's called Bahadur? We call this uh, rasha. Mm -hmm. All right, and next word is appetizer. Appetizer is the food that it comes before the main course. We call it in USA appetizer. In British, we call it starter. Okay. Next word is beet. The word beet is kind of a vegetable, red beet. So we call it in USA beet. What do we call it? Beet root. So it's just only we add the word root, right? Beet Basically, root. yes. Okay. Next word is the bell peppers. Bell peppers is a very nice vegetable that's full of vitamin C. Bell peppers in USA, in uh, British words, it's called. And we call it capsicum. Capsicum. Hmm. All right. So bell peppers and like Bahara said, capsicum. Next word is the broiler. We call it broiler and sometimes we call it grill also in American. In British we say it. We say it grill, just grill. Okay. Okay, next word is the candied fruit. It's a fruit that I think is surrounded by candy. We call it candied fruit in USA. In British we call it glassy fruit. Okay. Next word is the candy bar. The candy bar, you know, Snickers, Twix, candy bar. We call it in British, chocolate bar. Chocolate bar, okay? Like Bahadur said, chocolate bar. Okay, uh, next word is the canola oil. No, canola oil, the oil that you cook with, canola oil. In British, we call it rapeseed oil, okay? Uh, next one is the chili. You know, chili, you can add chili to a hot dog or you can just make regular chili. We call it chili in USA. In British, we call it? We call it chili con carne. Okay, so it's, a, it's kind of French word, right? Yeah. All right. Next word is cilantro. Cilantro is either you like it or you don't. But cilantro, we call it in USA. It's a kind of herbs. Coriander. It's called coriander. Okay, next word is the uh, cooktop or the burner. You know, it's like a small stove that you just only cook on. So, cooktop or burner. In British, we call it hub. Okay, next word is uh, corn starch. Corn starch. This is also a substance that you cook with. Corn starch. In British, we call it corn flour. Okay, next one is the uh, Cotton candy. All of us will like cotton candy. So we call it in British candy floss. Okay. Floss. This is like flossing your teeth or something, pretty much. So cotton floss. Okay. Next one is uh, crackers. Crackers. It's like small biscuits thing that you can eat. We call it in US a crackers. We call it in British what? Water biscuits. Water. Water biscuits. Hmm. It's kind of odd. Water? What, what's gonna have to do with anything? The water. All right. Next is the crock pot. Crock pot. This is the thing that you just put in meat and you can leave it for a long time. And that's why we call it crock pot. And in British, we call it slow cooker. Yeah, because it cooks it uh, slow, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next word is the cuisine art. Cuisine art. As you can hear, like uh, it's uh, an art of cuisine, like blender and things that it is attached to it. But we call it in USA cuisine art. By the way, I have all kind of pictures that are related to the subjects in here, as you can see it. Cuisine art. What do we call it in British Bahadur? Food processor. All right. Next one is the dessert. Dessert, like anything that you eat sweet after the main course, like uh, cake, pie or anything. But of course, in British, we call it, we call it pudding. But this is, a, this is just only a, this, I don't, pudding. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Next word is the dish towel. Dish towel, we call it dish towel in USA, the towel that you just wipe dishes with, but in British we call it, we call it tea towel. Tea towel. Hmm. Okay. Next one is uh, eggplant. Eggplant, you know the black eggplant, it's a very nice plant actually, and this you can do with pickle, you can just uh, fry it, and you can, uh, you can do all kinds of things with it. We call it in USA eggplant. What do we call it? Uh, we call it aubergine. Okay, it's kind of French too. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Sounds like it, huh? Okay. Another one is entree. Yeah, entree. It's a French word, but we use it a lot in USA. And the entree is the basically is the main course. Yes. Okay, so this is the main course, huh? Yeah, it is. Okay. Next word is the things that you eat, like figs, you know, we call it in USA fig newtons, fig newtons or fig newtons. In British, we call it fig rolls, okay? Next one is the fish sticks, you know, we, lo we love in USA fish sticks, okay? But in, US in British, we call it fish fingers, all right? This is things related to milk, half and half. Okay, what do we call it in British Bahadur? We call it a single cream, okay? Next word is the heavy cream, also for things related to milk. Heavy cream. In British we call it double cream. Okay. Uh, next word is that hot sauce. Okay, some people like that hot sauce. I like it like mild hot, not really that hot. But I know some people they like it like extremely dangerous hot. So we call it hot sauce in American. In British we call it uh, chili sauce. Okay. Yeah. All right. The next word is the lima bean. We call it in USA lima bean. What do we call it, Bahadur? Broad bean. Okay. Uh, next word is the link sausage or just sausage. Link sausage or sausage. We use this word in USA. We call it in British what? Bangers. Okay. Next word is the mac and cheese. Of course, this is a favorite meal for children, of course, as, as well as myself. So, mac and cheese in USA. In British, we call it macaroni and cheese. Next word, something that I couldn't really find very much in USA, but uh, it's called the molasses. Molasses, you know, it's very, very nice meal, especially with the tahini. If you put them together and just only put some, mmm, that's wonderful. In British, we call it treacle. Black treacle, okay. Next word is oatmeal. Oatmeal, yeah, very popular breakfast. Oatmeal, we call it in British porridge. Next word is the original. If you're if you're buying like chips and you want original, original is what? Like, of course, in chips you have original. You have like. Uh, uh, vinegar and salt or like the hot one or paprika so we call the original what Bahadur? we call it ready salted because it's going to be already salted yeah, right yeah next word is the peach pit you know that uh, seed inside the peach itself we call it pit peach pit but what do we call it in british and uh, we call it peach stone okay Next one is the pickle, you know, like the small cucumber pickle. We call it pickle in USA, but in the British words, gherkin. We say it. Okay. Next one is the pitcher, you know, when you just put some water, like uh, use the pitcher, but we in British we call it different, right? Yeah, we call it jug. Okay. When you try to wrap, the things together you are using a plastic wrap right like plastic wrap we call it in british cling film right next word is the porterhouse this is a kind of steak but we call it in usa porterhouse and sometimes we call it also sirloin yeah we use also this word in usa by the way sirloin yes you can use this one so porterhouse or sirloin they are a very uh, popular word for steak these common words are a little confusing. So we have the biscuits, we have the cookies, and we have the chips. Okay, so these three here are a little bit different. So let's start with the biscuits. So we call it biscuits in USA, like you can see here in the picture. But 
in British we call it scone okay and uh, the biscuits that they call in British we call it here in US cookies so our cookies in America it's uh, biscuits our biscuits here is a uh, scone over there okay so don't get confused please the other word is the chips okay the chips is called chips as you can see here in the picture but we call it in USA french fries so our french fries is chips, chips. over there okay what about our chips in USA well our chips here as you can see here in the picture it's crisps over crisps. there so crisps in British and chips to us and chips in British french fries to us I had also other words that has been presented before in the other video all right guys so that was our video today i thought that you had fun with both of us uh, until next time i would like for you to subscribe to the channel and also i would like for you to share the video so everybody gets the benefit of learning uh, and don't forget also to hit that notification bell so you can also get all the notification for all the videos that i'm going to upload later on so please uh, take care of yourself and each other. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.